Hola amigos, Jim and Mai here from Spanish and Go and we just arrived in Puebla. Yes, we are tired but we wanted to explore a little bit. We're here with some friends who live in Cholula and so they're going to be showing us around here. Vamos! What's your favorite thing about Puebla? The bike path. Yeah, there aren't a lot of places in Mexico with a bike path. There, they aren't, yeah. But we're gonna check that out tomorrow, right? Absolutely. A lot of things are closed right now. They have all the restaurants closed down. You can only all take- All the restaurants, yeah. For right. takeout, right? Yeah, it's been a month like that. It's gonna be interesting. We'll see what we can do yeah. with everything shut down. I think one of my favorite things about where you live in Cholula is the view you have of the volcano over here. Yeah, every day from our house. Yeah. That's the reason why we live here, basically. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What do you think of all the places being closed, Jaime? It's pretty crazy because nothing was closed really in Colima. You can walk by the coffee shops here and see that they're only allowing for takeout. Mm -hmm. We're going to the archaeological zone. It's like a park. What do you think of that, Mai? Me encanta la vista. It's a really nice view. That's all, right? Sí, nada más una foto de la cámara, por favor. Una foto de la cámara. Muchas gracias. Gracias. ¿Y su nombre? Mi nombre es Alejandro. Alejandro? Sí. Okay. Gracias. Buenas noches. That was so bizarre. Yeah, being stopped by a cop <laughs> for filming with this camera. Like, these guys are filming with the new camera. It's like the smallest camera ever. That was crazy. Yeah, that's so bizarre. Anyways. I should have asked him to send me the picture so that we could include <laughs> it in this video. Oh, wow. What do you think, Maya? Yeah, that's really cool. I, don't, I think they just turned the lights on, right? Were the lights on before? I mean, we spent like okay. five minutes talking to the cop and so now it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> Lavanda. Lavender. Mm, see, I want to I wanna sleep here. <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> I'll stay here. <sighs> no, this part of the of the park is really cool because well this whole thing is like divided over there there's um like more areas for walking and here it's more green i like that part what's the name of this cathedral it's a cathedral right or is it a church? It, it's just a church. I think. It's just a church? Yeah. A really fancy looking church. A really fancy looking church on the, on the top of a pyramid. So when the Spanish came here, they came here wanting to m make everyone Catholic, right? So the people here had their own religion, but of course they praised like many gods, right? Like the indigenous gods. Uh -huh. So what they, they did in many cases is to build churches on top of the pyramids. Sometimes they destroyed the pyramids, but luckily here, and some people say that probably they didn't destroy the pyramid because it was covered. Mm -hmm. If you can see, it's all covered by a hill. Uh -huh. Like it, it's kind of buried under the hill. Uh -huh. So, no podemos hacer qué? Usar el micrófono. No podemos usar el micrófono. Y nada más me gustaría ver en dónde dice que no se puede, porque según yo... Si estuviera visible, entonces tiene sentido. Sí. Yo sigo Créeme, las órdenes del parque. Ya, ya se lo dije, no? ya se lo dije, en la zona arqueológica sí, sí está, sí, sí, ahí, ya, ahí ya, lo sabemos, ya, ya, pero en, en el parque es público. Ya, ya, ya se lo dije, ya se lo dije a la persona. So, que... Bueno, muchas gracias Alejandro. Bueno, bien? Noches, bien. Well, that was bizarre. It happened again. <laughs> now this time they wanted us to to um, unplug the microphone. So yeah, the the microphone seemed very threatening to them, and so we had to disconnect it. <laughs> we didn't. But we didn't. No, we're rebels like that. 
<laughs> Rebels without a cause. I think they're police without a cause too. I must be really bored today. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the archaeological zone. I don't know if you can see the volcanoes. To the left we have the Popo, Popo Catepetl, the warrior. And to the right we have the Isla Cihuatl, which was the sleeping woman. And then right here we have all the archaeological zone. We have what do you call the ruins. It's beautiful. And then we have the church on top of the hill. And under the church we have the pyramid. I think it's the largest pyramid in the whole world. It's even larger than the pyramids in Egypt. So it's kind of buried under the hill. So it's not the tallest pyramid by any means, but it's really the largest pyramid in the world. And it's pretty cool because normally, right when there's no pandemic, you can go inside the pyramid. You can actually walk through the pyramid and that's, that's pretty cool. So it's really worth coming here if you wanna go and walk through the largest pyramid in the world. And the ruins are not that impressive because again, most of the ruins are covered. They're buried underground. So that's the reason why people here don't know exactly the length of the old city. Because yeah, basically everything is buried and people don't want to like destroy the whole city to uncover all the ruins and that's that for me is like really really interesting i mean if we have the longest la the largest pyramid in the world like we probably also had a really big city but we won't know it until everything is destroyed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of the greatest mysteries of, of mexico yes cholula yeah. yeah cool so now where are we going um now we're going to the center to the to the town square cholula it's actually divided into two towns mm -hmm. so we have San Andres Cholula which is right here mm -hmm. but on the other side of the pyramid we have San Pedro Cholula mm -hmm. so there are two Cholulas yeah. right the division it's the pyramid so yeah right now right right here where we are we're at San Andres Cholula mm -hmm. if we walk probably two steps we're in San Pedro <laughs> Cholula <laughs> ¿Qué compraste? Tortillas for chilaquiles tomorrow morning. <laughs> How much were they? Five pesos for a half a kilo. Nice. So we're in the Jardín de San Andrés Cholula in front of the government offices here and the difference is pretty incredible compared to the last time we were here it is dead there's no one here we're here except these guys <laughs> and the cop that's gonna come after us again surely he's probably on his way right now i'm surprised to see the church is also closed most of them are usually open at this time it's only 7 10. pandemic times so we're gonna head back to the house we're gonna order some pizza and call it a night, because my and I are tired. Sí. Nos vemos mañana. Someone woke up early. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Qué haces? Chilaquiles para el desayuno. Mm. Sí. For those who have never tried them before, what are chilaquiles exactly? Chilaquiles are fried tortilla with egg and a sauce. And then you can serve it with queso fresco, like fresh cheese and sour cream, onion. They're like the Mexican breakfast staple. <laughs> it's good. So last night we checked out the bike rental place and they are indeed open. So today we're going to take you on the bike path into Puebla. And I'm excited. Me too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go rent some bikes today. Get the chin diaper ready. And then where are we going? Ready for what? <laughs> 
We're going to the back, back path, we're going to head towards Angelopolis, okay. which is like one of the newest parts of the city of Puebla. Um, we're going to see some of our favorite parks and we're going to try to find a place to eat because everything's closed. So that's going to be an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Let's make it happen. What are the semitas de cabeza, Mai? A semita is a bread that's typical of here, of Puebla. And it's basically like a sandwich made with cabeza, head of cow. Okay. So, yeah, it's like a cow head, head. sandwich made in that type of bread called semita. Delicious. Entonces estamos en esta boutique y básicamente ellos aquí localmente en Cherula fabrican las las bicis. Entonces tú puedes venir y puedes elegir el color que quieras, de por ejemplo el cuadro, los asientos, este todo. Entonces las bicis que nosotros tenemos nosotros elegimos como queríamos que fueran y es todo hecho aquí localmente. Qué chido. quick stop to try and figure out what we're gonna eat because like we said before not many places are open so I think we're gonna go straight to one of the parks and then we're gonna order like an Uber Eats or something. So we're in Angelopolis. The city Puebla was actually called Puebla de Los Angeles which is like Puebla of the Angels, uh -huh. right? So here, we're in one of the newer parts of the city and it's called Angelopolis. Make allusion to city, polis, okay. and yeah. Angeles. Yeah. So, the city of the Angels. Okay. Because it was, yeah, Puebla de los Angeles. Okay, nada que ver con Los Angeles. No, not at all. <laughs> but now actually it's Puebla de Zaragoza. Okay. Which was like the hero um, in the battle against the French army. Okay. Like the commander, so it's Heroica Puebla de Zaragoza. Okay. Esta parte está bien padre. We're like in the woods here almost. This park over here has a ton of trees. We just made it to the Park of the Art. Jardín del Arte. Jardín, Garden of the Art. There aren't a lot of open spaces and parks like this in Mexico, so I really enjoy this area. Yeah, yeah, this is a really cool place. We can see a lot more people this time. Um, last time we were here, we only saw like a couple here and there, but this is a nice place. Y hay patos. Sí, puedes ver las plumas. Y los patos. So over here they've got a mini golf course, they call it Golfito. <laughs> this is a nice place to come for exercising and hanging out, having a picnic, watching the fish. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's cool that people get to have places like this in Mexico where they can come and exercise or just walk around with their family, feed the animals. Maybe you shouldn't feed the animals. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool. Literally, it's significantly cooler here. Little mural under the bridge here.
What's special about this area? We're at the Parque Metropolitano. This park is special because it's right beside two big universities. So we have the state university, which is called Boab, Benemérita Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. And then we have Tecnológico de Monterrey, which that's a private university. It's one of the biggest of the country. And then Boab is the state, is the public, it's free, basically free. University, they're both huge. And then you have the park. And then there's also a big museum, I think. I'm not sure, but it, I think it's called Museo Barroco. Okay. I think so. Yeah, it's a big park. Huh. It's a granada tree. That's right. Or bush. Look at that. <laughs> cool. Are you really going to eat that? Yes. Mm. No, no, but it's not. Oh, but it's so crunchy. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually pretty good. What's mm happening -hmm. here? Um, we're ordering food. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to. Trying to. Trying to. Let's see. What did you find? Uh, a place called Dragame Tierra. Uh -huh. It has everything we want, but apparently won't deliver here. Ay, ay, ay. Si, ¿Sí? tenemos comida? So, it looks like it. Yay! We had to go with another restaurant. That other place looked really good, but... See, si, the one with the vegan box? Yeah. What yeah. did you order? Well, we all got vegetarian burgers. Yum. Or were they vegan burgers? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'd eat just about anything right now. All right, so the delivery guy's coming. We're going to meet him to get the food. Gracias, buen día. Tenemos sándwiches que se llamaban pepitos. Papas y jugos de guayaba y tú de mango. How was it, Mai? It was delicious. They gave us a lot of food, but it was good because we were really hungry. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to go back home. Oh, look at all the people playing with their dogs. I really like this area. Definitely want to come back. Oh, going uphill is taxing. But I wanted to point out, I think it's interesting how their bike path here is divided half for walking and then the other half for bikes going both ways. Doesn't really give you a lot of space. This is the bike side. This is the walk side. You can see how they're labeled down there. Well, look at this view. Llegamos. Sí, llegamos. That was fun. Yeah. A lot of pedaling. Si. Sí. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice pedal? Pedalear. Pedalear. Mucho much. pedalear. Siempre robando palabras del inglés. Hey. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Ajá, uh -huh, es verdad. Muchas vienen del francés. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo es en francés? Pedale. Pedal. Pedale. Yeah, viene de ahí. <laughs> feel very relaxed. I just want to lay down, but we're going to walk to La Michoacana, which is like a popsicle and ice cream place. They also have agua fresca. We're really thirsty. We're going to get some agua fresca. Yes, and then we're going to go home and make pozole. Así es. <laughs> oh. 
Hola, buenas noches. 85, 90, 100 y 100 solo 200. Alright, so we've got our agua fresca. Horchata mm -hmm. for Alan and Camille, Jamaica for me, and for you. Agua de limón y chía. Uh -huh. <laughs> now what? Oh, here they are now. Oh, what's your videos? Oh, muchas gracias. Okay. I feel like now that I've had a drink, I'm ready to lay down. To sleep. <laughs> Just a siesta. Just a little siesta before dinner? Yeah, I, I can still eat pozole for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so... Cuidado. We're gonna see you guys at the house. Vamos. ¿Qué tienes ahí? Pozole de champiñones. Y tú lo hiciste, ¿verdad? Todavía no tiene los toppings, ah. espera. <laughs> Le falta lechuga. Se ve frío. <laughs> Rábana. ¿O rábano? Rábano. Aguacate. Cebolla. Cebolla. Tostadas. El comercial de mi barra. Ah. <laughs> Así tienes que sacarlo. <laughs> okay, it's pozole time. We're gonna chow down. Another day in Cholula, but today we're going to Puebla, first to Los Fuertes, and then we'll see where to go from there. So we were about to get on the Uber, the four of us, and we couldn't. They're only taking three people at a time. So Jim and I are going to take another Uber, and we're going to meet with Alan and Camille there. <laughs> Así es. So we're in the Fuertes, Los Fuertes de Puebla. Yes, this area is super cool because there are like a million things you can do here. There is a park, like this whole area has a museum also, or different museums, I think. <laughs> Each of the ports have like their own um, places where you can go and learn more about everything that happened in this area. There's a planetario. There's um, an auditorium. There are so many things that you can do here and it's cool to see just families here together with their children and everything, just enjoying the day. So we're gonna explore and show you a few places around here. So we've got our coffee. We're gonna go up that way to hang out and then we're going to come back down here for the sunset because it looks pretty epic over here. Right, Alan? It does look pretty epic. Okay, Yeah. let's make it happen. So we're here enjoying this beautiful view. We've got the chiringas, the papalotes behind us. Can you see it? Chiringa in Puerto Rico, papalote in Mexican Spanish. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is a really nice area just to take in the view of the city. So guys, what's your favorite part about this area of Los Fuertes? Right here, right where we are. Yeah? yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> I think it's the nicest view of the entire city, I think. Yeah. There are other viewpoints which are awesome as well, but I think they're they're crowded. Mm. And here, like, there's not that many people. Yeah. Yeah. And you have like a 360 degree view of the city. Mm -hmm. So like you have um, the center of the city, right? Mm -hmm in front of us. Mm -hmm. And then at the back you can appreciate other mountains and like the other parts of the city. So it's like, there are not that many places in Puebla where you can like look at the whole city. Yeah. And here it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can see everything here. You can see the, what's it called? The Rueda de... La Fortuna. La Fortuna. <laughs> la Rueda de la Fortuna. Oh yeah, where we went yesterday with the bikes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The cathedral yeah. is right in front of us. Yeah. So. The yeah. two towers there. And over there is Popocatépetl.
kind of feels like we're in old San Juan next to El Morro, where everyone's flying kites and you can appreciate the fort here and everything. I don't know if you can usually go in here. I imagine so outside of pandemic times, but it's really cool. <laughs> wow. Me asusté. ¿Por qué? Eh, escuché como algo viniendo cerca. <laughs> Pero estar así es muy... No sé cómo se dice. Estás en defensa. Uh -huh. Cuando estás en tus sí, manos. No puedes ver muy bien. Si viene sí, como no. un sí, patín. Ese... Sí, ese es algo ah, que Sí. Ah, el carrito. Sí. Puede ser. Ay, ay, ay. Qué chido. Buenas, Buenas tardes. tardes. Estamos grabando muy bien. Mire, la indicación del centro expositor es que necesitan un permiso para grabar cualquier tipo de. Me pasaron la información de que yo les diera la indicación. Sí. Pues de que necesitan un permiso, por favor. Y ya pueden grabar cualquier este. Ok. Bueno, está bien. Por favor. Sí. Gracias. A ti. So, Puebla is quickly becoming one of our favorite cities in all of Mexico. Except for the cops. <laughs> right. <laughs> that now twice have told us that we cannot record. <laughs> yeah. It's very clean. There's lots of parks and a lot of security. No, that's not the best part. <laughs> So it's okay to record here on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. But if we wanted to record something like here, like in this area, in the on the grass, we would have to use our phones. So recording with the phone, it's fine inside of the uh, park. But on the sidewalk, yeah, you can record with a professional camera. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the roads and the sidewalk are public and the park is private, which is hard to believe. We're gonna have to check that out. Yeah. I don't understand why people with police uniforms can walk around when they're actually security for a private entity. Yeah, it's been a little bit frustrating <laughs> trying to vlog here, but we're making it work, I guess. So Jaime, what's been your favorite part about visiting Puebla? My favorite part is the bike path. Yeah. You just don't find a lot of bike paths, especially like the one they have here in Puebla mm -hmm. in other parts of Mexico. And I really miss that about the US. How about you, what's been your favorite part? I really like the park here, this one, the Los Fuertes. Um, like I said before, it's unfortunate that we're not supposed to record here with the camera, that we can only do it on the cell phone. And that made us bummed about recording here. Uh, but yeah, this place is really cool. and. I'm really glad that we got to experience it again. Me too. Well, that about marks the end of our stay here in Puebla. We had a great time. Thank you guys for having us and showing us around. It was amazing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. So if you ever want to visit Puebla, you definitely have to check out Los Fuertes. You have to check out some of the food here. Mm -hmm. The bike path and the parks. Yes, it's unfortunate that we couldn't record that much inside the park, but that means that you have to come and check it out. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And remember, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.